In this part, we are going to remove the task. And if you remember, we have added the ID of the document on the list. So when we take a look on the element, you can see in each of the list, you have the data ID of the document. So when you click on the purple screen, we should use this ID to delete the corresponding document. So when we back to the coding, instead of just console.log to delete, we are going to get the ID by using e.target.parent element dot parent element dot get attribute and get the data ID. If you're not familiar with this, actually you can console.log the e dot target and when you click on the rubbish bin you will get the icon of the delete so when you get the icon of the delete and since you want to grab the id so you have to get the parent the parent is this diff and we want to get another parent so you, now you can grab the data id so now you will see the dot parent element and then dot again the parent element to in order to get the attribute so now we already have the id so now we can try to console.log the id and now if we try to check you can see the document id is displayed here so now we can delete this too and then we use db.collection to do doc doc id and then dot delete so now if we try to delete you can see there is nothing changed but you can see here it detect the type removed and when we go to the firebase we just delete the buying books when we go to the firestore we can see just two documents left so actually the data is deleted but the ui haven't been updated so now we have to make some changes on our coding so instead of just console.log removed we have to delete that specific list item by using let li is equal to to do list dot query selector and then data id is equal to change dot dot id after we get the list item we are going to remove so we use the to do list dot remove child and then pass the this here so now you can see there are two items if we delete one more you can see just one left 